Jarrett Twig was the head bartender at a nice establishment in Apex, North Carolina, outside of Chapel Hill. He says it was not long ago when business was actually too good. You couldn't get a table unless you had a reservation. And we only have probably 20 tables in that restaurant, so we're small, but we do big business. But then COVID-19 changed everything, eventually. Well, the first week, uh, my boss sat down with us and told us that it's coming and be prepared. And um, that, that last week was surprisingly slammed busy especially the night before the um, quarantine. So the people down here, they weren't really scared of it. They just went for it. He lost his job and now wants to see it come back. He just wants to work. Well, actually, so uh, I talked to the chef who's the owner, and he said that we should be opening up in about, about three weeks, and they're allowing us to open up at 60% capacity and he knows that's not going to we'll pay our bills and what we're receiving on unemployment is a real challenge you know for people to come back so i think he got the payroll loan so basically what that's going to do is so say i make 400 bucks that week he can throw me another four or five hundred out of that loan to make up the difference which i think is a brilliant idea because then it you know kickstart the uh economy so then by the time we can open up at 100 percent everything should be roaring again. Twig has some ideas for the future of small business restaurants. We have to do, you know, 50% capacity for a few months, that's fine. But if we don't do something, all of the, our little mom and pop shops, hell, even the big corporations are gonna lose restaurants. It's just not viable. They, you just can't keep paying money on rent. You know, put it this way, my boss does carry out now three days a week. And that only covers about $1,500 a week. And he was making more than that in one day. So what I would say to everybody is be on board with this payroll loan. Um, and don't give up on your restaurants because um, we need it. Uh, especially if there's a restaurant you love. So you support, get carry out from them. So that kind of keeps them afloat. And when we do open, please come back uh, in ports. Frank McCaffrey reporting for Americans for Limited Government.